Hello, my name is Mr Nick Jeruk. I'm a consultant orthopaedic surgeon working at One Hatfield Hospital. A hip replacement is a surgical procedure performed to treat the symptoms arising from a damaged hip joint. During the surgery, both the damaged native hip socket or acetabulum and the worn ball or femoral head are replaced. The most common symptom patients suffer is pain and this generally arises in the groin, buttock and the wider hip region. In addition, some patients can feel the pain just in the thigh and the knee. Patients often develop stiffness or loss of movement in the joint as well. This pain and stiffness can lead to difficulty with walking and development of a limp. Day-to-day -day tasks such as putting shoes and socks on, climbing stairs can become increasingly difficult. So the most common condition leading to damage of the joint is osteoarthritis or wearing of the joint cartilage. This tends to occur as we age and so most people undergoing hip replacement do so after they've retired. There are however a number of conditions that can arise in childhood or younger adult life that can lead to damage of the joint prematurely and these conditions coupled with the success of hip replacement meaning an increasing number of younger patients are now undergoing hip replacement surgery. So in the earlier stages of arthritis or damage to the joint, symptoms are usually less severe and they can be managed by exercises, sometimes guided by a physiotherapist. Pain can be managed with simple painkillers or anti-inflammatory drugs. Some patients will choose to use a stick to assist their mobility. If however the symptoms have become more severe and are not controlled by these simple measures, then we'll start to discuss surgical intervention with the patient in terms of a hip replacement. Patients can often start mobilising on the day of surgery after a hip replacement and most patients can usually go home by two or three days using walking sticks. By four to six weeks it's usually possible to stop using sticks and return to driving. It takes about 12 weeks for most people to fully recover from the surgery. By 12 weeks most patients have recovered fully and will stop noticing they've had hip surgery day to day. They're usually able to return to all their normal activities and able to sustain this result into the long term. Although the surgery is usually very successful, as with all procedures, it is possible for problems to occur. The most common issue to arise is the joint wearing out over time. This can lead to the pain returning. The long-term results show that at 10 years after surgery, 90% of patients can still expect their hip replacement to be working well and at 20 years as high as 80%. Often patients will have seen their GP previously as arthritis is usually a slowly progressing problem. A patient can ask for a GP referral, however that is not necessary, particularly if the hip pain has progressed quickly, in which case a patient can contact One Hatfield Hospital directly. Mm -hmm.